Well, tonight, teachers in Houston ISD are reacting to the news of an imminent plan for state takeover. They're frustrated with leaders here in Houston and the governor's office and say it's their students who will suffer the most. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us live tonight with their thoughts on it. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Caroline, Jonathan. Some of these educators that we spoke to today can remember a time when the state intervened with local schools. They say it didn't work then, and it will be even more detrimental now. A lot of us are looking for possible backup options. Are we going to go to another district? Are we going to try to teach to try a different career altogether. Sarah Rivlin says many teachers in HISD are concerned about the looming state takeover. The Board of Trustees voted to end the district's lawsuit to stop the action. This battle is over, but our fight for democracy and public education will never be over. over. State Representative Ron Reynolds told Fox 26 the takeover was imminent after having a conversation with the Education Commissioner Mike Morath, who stated, quote, TEA remains committed to ensuring students in Houston receive a high quality education that prepares them for success and will pursue a path forward that accomplishes that objective. The local union president believes this could impact their teacher shortage even more. I can see. Um a lot of teachers were, might leave HISD to go to districts where there is no board of managers, where there is a democratically elected board, where they feel they have a voice in what happens to them. With those concerns come rumors of closing schools like Wheatley High, a school that's been on TEA's radar for years. According to a former teacher, students there were showing great improvements after years of low performance. We continue to push forward. We continued for our students, and I also believe that the students had this mentality of we are going to prove who we are. While that may continue after the state appoints new leadership, educators argue it could be done without the governor's oversight. I think a lot of these state initiatives try to turn teachers into robots. We're not robots. We're in this because we love this and we want to be there for our kids. So we're hearing that the Education Commissioner will be meeting with legislators next week about this topic. Some of those lawmakers have already drafted legislation against it. Meanwhile, tomorrow at Wheatley High School in the 5th Ward, there's a community rally organized by parents, teachers, and students. Reporting from Houston, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.